Let's get some food at Pagoda. I have some green beans with garlic. I have salt, pepper, squid, and chicken. This is sliced pig's feet and some white rice. So I'm gonna get right into it. So enjoy the video. I filmed a bunch of updates and stuff while I was driving to Pagoda. Um, but I'm going to toss all of that at the end of the video. And so that way, if you want to listen to the updates, you can. Otherwise, I'm just gonna start eating. <laughs> all right, I got my food. <laughs> So I've got some white rice here. Set that off to the side for now. These are the green beans with garlic. Oh God, look at that. This is gonna be amazing. So this is the pork trotter. Okay, so it's nothing like the beef, uh, couple's beef that I was looking for. So you see that? It's, um, I think that, I think that's what they called it. It's beef trot or it's pork trotter. It's marinated uh, pork feet. So this is pork feet. So I'm gonna try that in a bit here. Ooh. <laughs> oh God, this smells amazing. This is the squid, the salt pepper squid. And these are their salt pepper chicken. They're very well known for this. And people like, they used to have like two for one deals on this, like happy hour and stuff like that. Um, and I had a buddy that absolutely loved this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna dig in. This is a salt pepper chicken. This is a drumstick. Um, oh man. Just like I remembered. <laughs> Mmm, this is perfect. My van is fogging up, <laughs> like the windows are fogging up. That's good though. So that way I have a little bit more privacy eating in my car. Ah, oh, here you go. Take a look at that. That looks amazing. <laughs> <sighs> Smells so good too. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So when I had asked about Couples Beef, um, the owner there, I think it was the owner, or one of the owners, uh, they were there and they uh, said that I used to order a Couples Beef a lot, didn't I? And because they recognized that dish. They don't have it anymore, but they have a whole ton of new dishes and stuff like that. They have a new chef. And so that's why their menu has changed. I'm glad their chicken hasn't changed though. Cause like this is the best. Like these are the best chicken wings ever. <laughs> like just look at the, the chili oil and like the pepper flakes on it. Mm. And so fragrant because of the peppers and chili oil. Okay, I need to move on. <laughs> so these are the green beans. They're, it's a pretty simple dish. It's just green beans and some garlic. Hmm. But yeah, I usually like having greens, you know, like this, vegetables with other food. And so like I would eat the rice and this and everything, but I'm kind of just eating everything <laughs> separate right now. Mm. Such a simple dish. It was just amazing. Lightly salted. Has a bunch of garlic. Mm. There's just green beans. <laughs> this is so good. Look at all that garlic. Okay. Moving on to the squid. Oh yeah. Mmm. Friggin' amazing. Alright, so the squid is the squid is obviously battered. 
right? But then there's a, they're cut and there's a pattern. And so I'm gonna take off the batter. Oh, there's people walking around. <laughs> uh, okay, see? So um, it's cut up like this. And I'm assuming that it's done like this so that it can pick up the batter a little bit better. So that way it's coated like this nicely. But yeah, squid. Mmm. So good. It's so rich in flavor. I need to eat it with rice. But let's try this. Okay, just real thin sliced pieces of pork feet. Okay. It's not bad, just wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> it's good though, it's like, this is really lightly marinated, so much salty, sweet was very very mild um i was looking more for something that kicks you in the face <laughs> you know something that is salty and spicy and numbing you know that's what couples beef was it was not bad it was good i would definitely like pour some ponzu and soy sauce into this so it has um more acidic and saltiness to it it was not bad good okay Okay, so <clears throat> here's the white rice. So you can actually turn this into sort of like a bowl. You just need to undo this and it's just a big plate kind of. I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to just keep it like this. But yeah, look at that. I've got my rice, my squid, my green beans. This is so relaxing and so calming. Just sitting here eating rice. <laughs> it's almost therapeutic, especially with the rain like this. I love the rain. I always have loved the rain. I don't mind getting wet and I love the rain when I'm at like an event or at like some sort of outing. Like if I go to the park or if I go to like the state fair or go anywhere. <sighs> People are here. They have so much space to go around and walk, but they have to walk by my car. So strange. <clears throat> so yeah like I was saying um like if I go to the state fair or renaissance fest festival or anywhere outdoors right with friends family or anyone and it rains I enjoy it more I remember it more because the rain sort of triggers something like dramatic right and then you remember that day it's like oh you remember when we went and it rained like it's more memorable that way and so like this me sitting in the, the van like this, eating, and making this video, it's raining, it'll be memorable. It's been a very long time since I've had rice. And whenever I eat rice, I eat it with other foods like this. So I would have some sort of protein and then some sort of green or vegetable, just like this. That's how my family usually eats. That's usually how a lot of Asians eat. They have a protein and then they have a bunch of side dishes and stuff. Greens and pickles or kimchi and stuff like that. And the pig feet here. And pork feet is sort of like a, a mouth cleanser almost. In between everything. So I should actually be getting these metal chopsticks pretty soon 
from a guy named Austin, who's a blacksmith. And uh, he makes a lot of knives and stuff, but I decided to reach out to him to see if he can make some chopsticks for me. And so I sent him a pair of chopsticks that I wanted him to replicate, and uh, that's what he did. And he sent them out a while ago, and um, it looked like it got lost, but we were able to track down the tracking number, and it's sitting in Minneapolis right now. And so, I should be getting it, like, I thought I was going to get it today, but I didn't. And so I might get it tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. Um, but hopefully I get it soon so I can make some cool videos with it. Metal chopsticks. They're really cool. They're stainless steel metal chopsticks. This right here, you can pull this and break it off. And then do that on this side too. And basically it'll end up opening up almost like a big plate. And you'll be able to use that and eat and stuff. Um, but right now, I don't need it like that, and so, because I'm gonna close it back up like this. You can close it back up after doing that, but it's gonna be a little harder because these flaps are gonna stay open. Yeah, that's one way to use this. I'm gonna have some more wings, and then, I'm parked right by Total Wine, so I'm gonna go in and check out their, like, liquor selection, or maybe some beer and stuff like that. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that. So good. All right, it's also getting dark too. So yeah, I'm gonna go in, see if there's anything cool to get, and then uh, I'm probably just gonna call it a day and head home. Like, and head home. It's 7:30, so I usually feed Raven at around 8 o'clock. And so yeah, and then I gotta give her her meds also. All right, so I am back from Total Wine and I got a bunch of beer. <laughs> Let me just show it to you and then um, I'm not sure if I'll be drinking any of this today or in this video. I'm probably going to do like a live stream or something like that and try some of this. So I've got the standard uh, Sapporo. This is like the 22 ounce can, I think, or 21 ounce, something like that. Yeah, 22 ounce can. This is the standard Sapporo. I got two standard ones. I was supposed to grab like the, um, the reserve one. So like there's three of them. There's the premium one, which is the standard. And then there's the reserve, which is another one. I was supposed to grab that one. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, whatever. This one I got at least. This one is Sapporo Black. I don't remember what this was. Well, let's see here. Roasted dark malt with refined hop bitterness. Yeah, it's a bold lager. So this is really nice too. But I have a whole case like this here and uh, they're all different beers let's go through some of them this one right here is really shiny and uh, <laughs> it's crazy looking it says let's see here if I can read it senseless I think that's what it says on it like those are words I'm not sure if you can read it let's see brewed and canned by Lupulin Brewing, Big Lake, Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota beer. Yeah, Senseless, India Pale Ale, 7%, 60 IBU. This is really cool and interesting. <clears throat> this one right here is called Guilty Pleasures, and it's supposed to actually look blurry like that. Yeah, it's really blurry. It has that glitch effect, sort of like TikTok. But this is a grapefruit IPA, 6.4%. Let's try and look at this one. This is this one's called 12 Lives and Still Wandering. 12 Lives and Still Wandering. But look at the artwork. It looks super cool. And then this, I'm not entirely sure, is oh, it's called Brain Fizz or Brain Fuzz. It's just some really strange artwork also. <laughs> This is 6%. It's uh, a smoothie styled sour ale with cherry, lime, red dragon fruit, marshmallow flavor, vanilla flavor, and milk sugar. And we've got this. This one here. The salted caramel stout. Brewed with sea salt and caramel. Lakes and Legends Brewing. Crafted beer of the north. Oh, this is also a Minnesota beer. Huh. I guess a lot of these are. <laughs> um, let's see here. 
I'm not seeing a percentage. Ah, 6.2. And this one, I am very, very excited for this one. Look at this. So this is a white ale. Um, it's called Hitachino. Hita Hitachino Nest. Uichi Brewery. Uichi Brewery. It's a Japanese beer. And I've had this before, but not exactly like correctly I guess so like a long time ago like years ago maybe like four or five years ago I bought this and I wanted to chill it and what I ended up doing was I left it in the freezer and forgot about it and then um, when I took it out it was all frozen and then when I poured it out it was just like the alcohol that was left and I drank it and all the ice was still in here and I drank that sort of condensed like alcohol liquid and it was so flavorful and it was so good but I don't know if that's what it's going to be like like you know as the full beer if I actually drink it it's such a good tasting beer from that condensed amount that I drank the last time and I couldn't find it for the longest time and I just found it but this is only a 5.5 percent a product of Japan and all it says is it's ale brewed with spices and juice that's it so yeah I uh, am excited for this and that's basically it I don't think this is the, actually the end of the video um, I'm going to drop that other section uh, while I was driving at the end here and so you can watch that and kind of get some updates and how I'm feeling but yeah thanks for watching so far please smash that like button consider subscribing consider checking out some of my merch on my spread shop and check out my website uh, I appreciate everyone watching and uh, I'll see you next time but uh, here's some extra footage today is Wednesday April 6th and I've just been bummed out for the longest time and most of you already know it's because of Raven she recently about two weeks ago had a injury on her hind left leg and so when I'm at home I feel unmotivated and I don't want to do anything and that's not good for me I'm just procrastinating and I'm just moping around not doing anything productive and Raven's condition currently is not something that I have control over so I really need to get past it and go out and do stuff but sometimes just mentally I'm just unable to and so sometimes having to like go out and leave the house you know uh, helps with that and so that's basically what I'm gonna be doing today um, we're gonna go to Pagoda it's a Chinese restaurant that once had a location in Dinky Town downtown Minneapolis but I think due to COVID and everything they shut down and so they have a new location now and so they're doing dim sum on the weekends and they have a standard regular menu during the weekdays I haven't been to their new location and so that's what we're gonna do today and I'm just driving right now I don't even have the I don't even have the GPS pulled up yet <laughs> Okay. Let's see. All right, got the GPS set up. We're good to go. I'll be there in about 24 minutes and I guess I'm just gonna talk. I have my camera mounted up with my tripod and everything. It looks ridiculous right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a rough like two weeks. I've been trying to kind of get things together, get my shit together. I've been trying to work out and uh, be more physically fit. And it's kind of helped, but it's hard to stay consistent. I'm doing small things every day to kind of help get me to my goal. So I'm doing small tasks. I've kind of written out all of the things that I want to change, all the habits that I want to break. And one clear issue that I'm having is just my constant need for like some sort of stimulation on my phone. So like I'm constantly like scrolling through Facebook, through YouTube, through TikTok, um, through Instagram uh, to get some sort of like validation in like comments or 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 likes and stuff like that or views even and I don't need any of that I just need like for some reason I just feel like I constantly need sort of the stimulation I don't need it and it's it's causing problems and so and so I've been able to 
like kind of cut off TikTok or cut off my phone at the end of the night and then I've started to try and attempt to read a book and the new book that I'm trying to read right now it has to do with procrastination and the first like section of the book that I've read so far has talked about like it's talked about decision paralysis and the fact that we have so many choices and so many things that we can do that we end up being paralyzed and not able to choose and select a single thing to do. And a good example for me is cleaning my shed. Uh, I know I need to clean my shed so I can get other things taken care of and done. Um, but the problem is I always think about like other things that I could be doing while I'm cleaning the shed. And then I end up not cleaning the shed. And so right now I'm just in the process of getting to know myself and breaking down all of the problems that I have and trying to tackle it like piece by piece every day. And so yeah, and, and it's been difficult to kind of keep up with trying to make more YouTube videos. I have several other YouTube videos that I have in process and I'm editing them now and I need to upload them because they're like a month behind or something. And then I've recently started archiving all of my TikTok videos and so I'm downloading all of my TikTok videos from last year up till now. Uh, it's I'm not even done yet and it's taken a long time <laughs> but I'm reposting it all on uh, YouTube shorts and then uh, I'm planning on scheduling time to upload it all to Facebook all to Instagram and stuff like that and so hopefully I can then monetize on on Facebook I'm already monetized on Instagram and I want to max it out like I am gonna go like 10x on all of the stuff eventually like once I get things in place everything's good and solid and once my mental space is good too like I'm going to like go 10x I'm going to put out so much content that you guys are going to be sick of me to the point where you're seeing me everywhere and to the point where you start complaining that I'm putting out too much content that's what I want to end up happening um, and so and so with that like quantity eventually quality will like take over um, I need to start with quantity in order to kind of get better and so that's that's basically where I'm at but this restaurant that I'm going to pagoda it has a special dish called couples beef it's a cold appetizer that I love ordering everywhere I go to like a Chinese restaurant that's authentic because of COVID it's kind of forced a lot of Chinese restaurants to redo their menu so that it's more Americanized and I hate that and it's so sad to see but I understand why they're doing it you know because they can't stay afloat um, and so they have to cater to other people and so their menus aren't as authentic as, as usual and so they end up like taking certain things off the menu um, or changing things up completely. Pagoda seems to still be pretty authentic from what I can tell uh, but I'm disappointed that in their new menu I don't see couples beef. Uh, it's basically like beef shank um, and then beef tendons and sometimes tripe and it's mixed with Szechuan peppercorns, garlic, garlic oil and a, like chili oil and a bunch of other stuff and it's really really good and because of the Szechuan peppercorns it like numbs your mouth and it's amazing I love it. Um, the first time I ever had it I was freaked out because my, my tongue went numb like it literally goes numb and uh, I was freaking out but then I learned more about it and then I started understanding it and I ate it more and like the Szechuan peppercorns give it a really like amazing floral sort of aroma. I know how to make couples beef but I just haven't made it for so long that I don't know if I can make it and I don't want to go through that trial and error right now. Maybe I'll make a video on it later but I just want to be able to go and order it, be able to enjoy some couples beef. Um, but today I am going to order some squid and like I think it's like it's similar to calamari maybe because it's gonna be like battered and deep fried I think I'm not sure yet but then I'm also ordering their uh, chicken wings that they're really really known for and everyone like loves their chicken wings and it's really good um, so I'm gonna order those two items I might order other stuff I'm not sure yet uh, we'll see 
But yeah, I'm gonna focus on driving. I might stop at like a gas station real quick and then place like a takeout order. And then when I get there, uh, everything will be ready. Cause I don't wanna sit and wait 20 minutes for my food to be done when I get there. <clears throat>